Iowa State will not be playing in the Big 12 championship on December 3rd, but the state of Iowa will still be represented in Dallas by Isaac Baldus. Local 5 sports reporter Jake Brend has this story. This is the sound of a Big 12 champion. Isaac Baldus of Indianola has been named the Big 12 Special Olympics Athlete of the Year for his involvement in the organization. He will be honored in Dallas during the big game. It's very exciting for, for my wife Bonnie and I um, to see our son have a little bit of a spotlight. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity, really. I feel awesome and excitement. He'll be wined and dined. Um, he gets a big 12 championship ring, which is kind of fun. Um, he'll be on the field for the game. It's just going to be an all-around neat experience for him. If getting an invite to Dallas wasn't enough, make no mistake, Isaac can lift a lot. For the deadlift, I lifted 341 pounds. How hard is that? It was not hard. That was easy. He's really developed into an athlete. Um, he's very confident. He's very strong. Um, <laughs> He, he crushes the deadlift. It's funny because a lot of times there will be other athletes in here training uh, when he's training and, and he's crushing big weight uh, and everybody's looking at him like, holy crap, that's, that's a lot of weight. Isaac's hard work has paid off. Facebook is funny because they show you all your memories, right? And so I get all these memories from him when he was in his younger teens and he's like this skinny dude, right? And now he is, he is just filled out like a power lifter. You can weigh the plates on the bar but you can't weigh the impact the sport has on the family. I enjoy lifting. I always wanted an Olympic athlete, and we had Isaac, and she said, there you are, there's your Olympic athlete. There you go. Now, this isn't Isaac's first big time honor. In 2017, he was the state of Iowa's Special Olympics High School Athlete of the Year. And he has won over 50 medals, including two gold medals at the 2022 U.S. Games. Baldus will appear in front of the 80,000 seat AT&T Stadium on December 3rd. Congratulations.